Good evening and welcome to another edition of AwakenTheWorld.ca. My name is Garen and tonight the uh, title of our discussion is Masks and uh, Dropping Those Masks to Open the Heart. So let's start with uh, a little thing that happened to me. So just in case I'm not totally clear tonight or stop suddenly and gaze off into space, uh, <laughs> our new laptop came in today and in the process of hooking everything up and transferring everything over, I managed to run my forehead straight into the corner of a cabinet. So I'll let you take a look. Did a pretty good job. Got me right in the ohm. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there's a bump there. <laughs> there was blood. <laughs> so, anyways, back to this. Um, when it talks about masks, masks are everywhere. I mean, if there's any doubt that we live in an illusion, uh, most of our encounters in our day-to-day -day life with, with, with people are not with genuine people. They're with the egoic masks that they wear. And there's plenty of examples of this around. Now, uh, we've all been guilty of, uh, of this in the past, and there's most of us are still guilty of it. One of the greatest compliments that I receive, and I receive this compliment on a regular basis because people always shake their heads, and, and I don't really understand why, but what it is is they basically say this. Uh, it doesn't matter whether Garen is meeting the Dalai Lama or a king or a prince or a beggar in the street. Everyone gets the same treatment. His wife gets the same treatment. The next door neighbor gets the same treatment. Everyone is treated equally. No masks, no changes in personality, no different ways of talking and thinking for different people. And, and what that does is it restores your true power to yourself. And, and we're gonna come back to that in a short while. So back to the masks. The vast majority of encounters you have are, are fake. Um, uh, that's by no means a put down, it's just a matter of fact. And I'm going to illustrate why here, and, and this may seem a little hard to follow, and then you'll understand why it's amazing that we can really communicate anything at all. When two people come together, in most situations, there's two egoic minds. The one, if they know the other person, already has a preconception about how that person thinks, what they feel about things. And if they don't, of course, there's this little bit of fear that they, they, they won't be accepted in their, uh, what they have to say or be validated. So there's this thinking about what the other person is going to say or about what they're thinking about or how they feel about me. And then that other person has to come up with a response in relation to what they think the other person is thinking. And this happens twice over, like it happens in both directions. And one of the terrible downfalls of the mask we wear is that we wear those masks out of fear. And that is an egoic fear. It is a small sense of self fear. It is a fear that you won't be validated, a fear that you won't be accepted that someone will find something wrong with what you have to say, it doesn't really matter. It's fear and you need to walk right through it. When you come from a place of no fear, your heart can be truly open. You can be open to receive the uh, benefits of the encounter, the, the wisdom, the, the, the teaching and, and student relationship that we share with every encounter with everybody. And, and you'll be more honest in those and you'll actually be yourself. And the way to do that, like I said, is simply to drop the masks. You think the masks serve you, but they don't. They take away your power. So let's imagine that you wear a mask for your employer and you, you wear a mask for your best friend and you wear a mask for your husband or your wife and you wear a mask for your child. That's called the parent mask. And then you have a, a, a totally different mask for um, some new friends that you met last week while you were having a girls night out. Now, everything seems okay, but in the back of the ego's mind, in the recesses of its mind, it's always living in an unconscious state of fear that 
those masks or those people are going to come together in a conjunction and you won't know which mask to put on. And that happens time and time again. And it is that unconscious fear that will actually help reinforce the masks and cause even more problems or even the creation of new additional masks. Masks which are half supportive of this and half supportive of this and trying to blend it together. Bottom line is, is you're not being the real you. The real you is behind that. Now, when you drop those masks, you reclaim all your power. And this is why this is so important. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me what your life situation is. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter what color your skin is or what you believe in. I believe in you. It, it doesn't, it's, you're perfect just the way you are. And when you drop your mask, the light that you are can shine out into the world. And you have a gift. You, the person I'm talking to right now in this video, and, and that means every single one of you watching, you have a particular gift that is only manifesting one time in the entirety of all creation. And you can't give that gift freely when you hide your light behind masks. So take the mask off. When you do, your heart opens up and you both benefit from the encounter, you and whoever else you're encountering, whether it's a person or a group, or it just doesn't matter. And I'll give you an example of this before we close up. As I've said before, my wife has gone through uh, a little over three years now of absolutely no contact from her uh, f fundamentally conservative Christian family over me and uh, our relationship and, and other aspects. Um, she was approached by one of uh, a woman that she came to know on Facebook uh, and asked some questions because the same thing was happening in her life. And this woman um, in this private message had really opened up and, and you could tell she had poured out her heart and was having real trouble dealing with it. And Kelly said to me, she says, you know, I'm not going to say everything. And I, I looked at her and I said, no, wait a minute, honey. Someone's opened their heart to you. If you try to keep a mask on, if you try to hide some of who you are and what you feel and what your truth is, not only do you diminish your opportunity to serve this person, but you diminish their return. As I said, it's all teacher-student relationships on both ends of the game. So you also diminish your own return. You miss out on the valuable lesson that's in there for you. You know, we always teach what we learn, and we're going to talk about that too. And I look forward to that. So uh, I hope this has been helpful. Please uh, let go of your masks. You're incredibly powerful, infinite, spiritual beings manifesting a human experience. And when you take those masks off, what you really are shines through. I mean, I see you there anyway. You, you can't get away from me. So <laughs> have a wonderful night and we'll talk to you again soon. Take care.